Hi and welcome to chord tutorial number 110. Today we're going to be covering chords that we can use to play EXO songs. Now you can't get away with a capo with these guys songs. You've got to learn your chords. So let's get busy. The first chord in our lineup is an F minor 7. We'll be playing that up at the 8th fret. We're barring the 8th fret and we have the middle finger on the B string at the 9th fret and the ring finger on the D string at the 10th fret. And we're going to strum that from the A string like that. Now we're going to make a G minor 7 by raising it a whole step to the 10th fret. Same form. So we're now, so now we're barring the 10th fret. We have our middle finger at the 11th fret on the B string and our ring finger on the D string at the 12th fret, and that's G minor 7. Now while we've got this form, we're going to move it down the neck and go down to the 5th fret and play D minor 7. We now have a D minor 7. I'm barring the 5th fret. I have my middle finger on the B string on the 6th fret and my ring finger on the D string at the 7th fret and we're going to strum that from the A string as we do the others. C minor 7 move it down whole step to the 3rd fret same scenario. Barring the 3rd fret middle finger on the B string at the 4th fret and the ring finger on the D string at the 5th fret. Now while we are here, let's make a G7 chord. And G7 is basically the same form, but now we're going to play the low E string and we're going to bring in the middle finger to the G string, 4th fret, and the ring finger to the 5th fret on the A string. And we're going to strum all the strings. And that is a G7. Okay, we will also need a C minor 7 up at the 8th fret, which we're going to make like this. I'm at the 8th fret, I'm barring everything below the A string and butting up against the A string and bringing my thumb across the top. And that's C minor 7. Now you can sub the normal C minor 7 at the 3rd fret for that one, but this one's convenient because it's up near the F minor 7 and G minor 7 that we need. Okay. Next we need D sharp major and we're going to go to the 6th fret on the A string and bar the 8th fret. Okay. And we're barring the D the G being high E string, but we're not going to play that high E string and we can mute that high E string by just... When we play this chord, we can play it by just strumming down to the high E string and stopping, or you can place your finger on the string like that and strum that way, okay? We don't really want that high E string. If you do hit it by accident, it sounds alright, but we want that pure D sharp major chord. We're going to get C sharp major by moving down to the fourth fret and doing the same thing. Okay, we're holding down the A string at the fourth fret and barring everything at the sixth fret under it. And we're not strumming the E string at all on that chord. Now we need G sharp major seven. We're going to make that by doing this. I'm at the 3rd fret, high E string. I'm holding down the 3rd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret. And holding down E, high E, B string, G string, and D string. That's G sharp major 7. We need a normal G sharp, which we're going to make by doing this. 
playing an F form at the 4th fret. We're holding down the high E and the B string at the 4th fret and then the uh, G string at the 5th fret and the D string at the 6th fret. That's G sharp. We're also going to play a normal G chord by going down to the 3rd fret. 3rd fret, B and high E, 4th fret, G string, 5th fret, D string. And that's our G chord. And we're not using the low E or A string. Just treating that like we would do an F form. We're also going to need an F. So we're going to move down to the first position. First fret, B and high E. Second fret, G string. Third fret, D string, and that's our F. Okay, next up is major seven, made this way. We're going to hold down the D string, first fret, and bar the G, B, and high E at the third fret. And we're going to strum that from the D string. We're not going to play the A or low E. That's D sharp major 7. F minor 9. We're going to bar the first fret holding down the D, G, B, and high E string. Then we'll bring in the ring finger to the D string, third fret. We'll bring in the pinky to the third fret on the high E string. And that's our F minor 9. Our next chord is A sharp 7 suspended to 4. We're going to make that by simply barring the first fret starting from the A string down. We're strum it from the A string. We're not going to play the low E for that one. That's A sharp 7 suspended to 4. Now we're going to take that same chord up to the 6th fret and get D sharp 7 suspended 2 4 like that. That's D sharp 7 suspended 2 4. All right. I think that's enough chords for one tutorial. And I got to tell you, I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.